Well, welcome back to Unreal Guides. In this section, I'm going to be dealing with the continuing of working with the free Gutenberg ebooks and creating your ebook formatting template. In this one, we're just going to be talking about style sheets. Now, you notice that they have several here, and that's fine, but what, for a basic template, you may not want that many. Now, I have a template that is included in our kit, and I will be including the basics in the book that I'll be writing for this as well. But I want to show you how you can choose different styles in here and add it to your own list on things that you actually like that are being shown that show up in um, a Gutenberg ebook. First of all, you would go here to Styles and you want to add a new item. Now it'll come in as style 0001.css and it is blank. And what you're going to do is go through each of these pages and find the styles that you like. They have to be in the zero or the one. And then you're going to highlight and paste them in here. Now what I'm going to show you is just a couple and then what I usually do. On the copy page, we'll view it in the book view, which is that little book thing. It's kind of neat seeing the large cap and small caps. If you like that style, what we're going to do is you highlight what you like go to the code view which is the little brackets and you can see it highlights down here. I'm going to enlarge it so you can see it. And they're using a class of um, SM cap and smaller. So we're going to look for those in the CSS. Now I know they're in here or I mean in the zero one. So what we're going to do is command F or control F and look for smaller. Now this is not the smaller you want, it's at the bottom of the page. So it's up here. And it says it's the font size is 60%, which means it's 60% of the font size that is being used for the text. So um, the smaller case, uh, like if you have the word mother, the M is the main font size and the O-T-H-E-R will be 60% of that M size. So we're going to command or control C to copy it and go back to your blank one and command or control V. Now hit the carriage to return twice you can get down a little further. Now you can go continue to go through. You might see something else that you like. Um, let's look at the preface. Um, it didn't seem like anything there. What you do is, like I said, you go through and pick the styles that you want. You don't need to do heading tags. You don't need to do, um, you know, italics and things like that unless it's specifically, you know, like if you want the P and then the reface in italic, you could just use bracket I you know, opening and closing brackets. Right now, I just chose that, and then let's say that you have a poetry sample, which of course I spelt wrong here. Sorry about that. Let's see what they have here. And they're using a class that has poem and stanza. So you would do the same thing. Go into and find poem. And here's the whole section on poetry. So now you can have a separate CSS just for poem, which I would probably do, uh, which would make it actually the most easiest. Or you can just add it to your CSS there. Now what I've done is I'm going to install, I have a CSS, and so to add it, you would go add existing items, and I have to find it. And it's right here. And it's, I always call my style style CSS. I have one for copy, which I call style copy, and so on. So it puts it in the style folder. Now you can see I have a basic body, paragraph tag, I have paragraphs for title, author, and this is the one that's real important, no indent, N-O-I-N-D. Let me enlarge that again. Get rid of that. What this does is traditionally paragraphs are indented for fiction books, but you might want the first paragraph not indented. So you have a text indent of zero. Text is usually justified. So that's also something that you can have. My list is quite a bit smaller. It's not really necessary to have you huge, long, fancy lists. But I do want to show you how you can find styles in existing books that you may want to use. So play around with the style sheet. Like I said, you can't mess this up. This is not your manuscript at this time. And try to find the styles that you like. But understand that you really, for most fiction books, there aren't really any styles that you do need. Paragraphs will be automatically indented for Kindle and most ebooks. You can do the no indent for some of them, and then all heading tags are usually a standard size, but you can adjust them if you want them. So continue on again, and I'll have one follow up video just to recap everything. I hope you're getting the idea of this, and if you have any questions, just contact me on Unruly Guides.